What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about Xbox original Xbox. Not the Xbox 360, not the Xbox One. We're talking the gigantic square rectangle with the big X in the middle of the original Xbox and backwards compatibility. Uh, I love backwards compatibility. When I have time to play those old gems, man, it really, really takes me back. And what Xbox has been doing with the Xbox One it's been really a great service for older gamers, people who grew up playing the Xbox, playing the Xbox 360, to be able to go back and play some of these games that are 8, 9, 10 years old. It really means a lot for some of us because you can't find these games in stores in a lot of places. The whole prospect of actually playing the original Xbox games on the Xbox One or even the Xbox Scorpio seems like a magical thing, especially if you're older. Uh, games like Morrowind, uh, Jade Empire, Jet Set Radio, Panzer Dragoon, all these games are really, really special. The Chronicles of Riddick, if you guys have ever played an awesome Xbox game, one of them was Chronicles of Riddick. I love that game, and it was really just groundbreaking. And its graphical design, the way they made it, it was just a beautiful game. Of course, the Xbox had Fable, Halo, of course. And so it was really ushering in a whole new era for gamers, especially in the West. And a lot of these games you can't really find anywhere now. You know, they got Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on Android and iOS, but it really isn't the same game. It isn't the same experience. Imagine if you're able to play some of these old gems right now on your Xbox One or even on the Xbox Scorpio. I'll drop a link in the description because it sounds like it might happen. Phil Spencer wants Xbox One to play original Xbox games. The Xbox One has very few advantages over its main rival, the PS4, but one key area where Microsoft has outdone Sony is backwards compatibility. Slowly but surely, Microsoft has been unlocking the Xbox 360's huge library of games and allowing the original disc to play when inserted into the Xbox One. Now it seems there's a chance that compatibility could jump back another generation and unlock those original Xbox games you have gathering dust on your shelf. Although it's not happening yet, Phil Spencer has confirmed on Twitter that it's something he'd very much like to do. On Twitter, James asked Phil, I love backwards compatibility for 360 titles. Is it ever possible we will see original Xbox backwards compatibility? Phil Spencer responded, We haven't ruled it out, but we aren't working on it right now. I'd like to find time to do it. So that is optimism. Whether or not it happens, we'll see. In total, there were 1,045 games released for the original Xbox. That includes 289 exclusive to North America, 96 exclusive to Europe, and 44 exclusive to Japan. When the Xbox 360 was launched, backwards compatibility was touted, but mostly treated as an afterthought. Only a small subset of Xbox games ended up working on the Xbox 360, and even then, some of them didn't work well. Adding original Xbox compatibility to the Xbox One would help make up for the lack of effort put into the feature on the Xbox 360. Xbox games have long since appeared from used game shelves, though, so it's going to be the collector who appreciates this the most if it ends up happening. With the Xbox One, Microsoft made the switch to an x86 architecture, and that isn't going to change looking at future hardware releases. Scorpio will also be an x86 machine. Whatever comes after Scorpio will probably be an x86 machine, so, so this work on backwards compatibility will continue to be a benefit to Microsoft long after the Xbox One has been replaced. Sony would do well to take notice, and absolutely they would. Uh, you know, the, the way that Microsoft has been rolling out backwards compatibility, to me, that makes a world of difference. Every month, no matter what, every month if you're on your Xbox One, you're getting an Xbox 360 game for free through Xbox Games with Gold. They've been kind of forcing people to remember how awesome backwards compatibility can be. Some of these games that I never played before, I've tried on Xbox One through backwards compatibility, and they've been gems, awesome experiences. And believe it or not, there's just as many amazing games on the Xbox as there are on the 360. I mean, of course, graphically, it's not going to stand up, but some of these games are much better than the stuff that we see now. Knights of the Old Republic is a perfect, perfect example. Halo 1, Halo 2, Jet Set Radio Future, Panzer Dragoon, right? Psychonauts. A lot of these old games that really, really fleshed out that generation. Doom 3, and of course, Chronicles of Riddick, which is just one of my favorite Xbox games of all time. I would love to see backwards compatibility continue to be fleshed out on Xbox consoles. Sony definitely needs to learn from this. Of course, Sony does have the emulation that you pay $15 or $20 per game on. Xboxes is infinitely better. 
And uh, I'm excited to see what they do in the future. At least Phil Spencer is responding to the community. He's on Twitter talking to people about the things that we're passionate about. And he seems to really connect with the gamers. You guys let me know if you think the original Xbox backwards compatibility on Xbox One and Xbox Scorpio and whatever comes in the future would be a good idea. Do you appreciate older games or would you like to see some games from the fifth gaming generation? on new current hardware. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and check out BeastlyGamer.com to stay up to date with everything I'm doing. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.